I have your favorite fig right here. Come get it. You're doing great, Popcorn. You can do this. <laughs> we believe in you. Aw, let's take a little break. Here, Popcorn, you deserve this. <gasps> Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. Are you ready for movie night? Hi, Leo. I don't think I can make it. What? Why not? I have to collect the smell of a binturong for my smell collection. A binturong? What's that? Binturongs are animals that smell like popcorn. I need to collect its smell. <sighs> but I'm just so busy. There's no way I'm going to make it for the movie night. What if we help you find the binturong, Kai? Would that save you some time? <gasps> you would do that for me? Of course. That's what Junior Rangers are for. That would be awesome. Call me when you guys find one. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal that smells like popcorn? I've never heard of that. How exactly does a binturong look like? Let's find out. A binturong has a face like a cat, a body like a small bear, and a tail like a monkey. They're also known as bear cats, but they're not actually bears or cats. Binturongs smell like popcorn because of their urine. They use their smell to mark their territories and attract mates. Where can we find binturongs? They can be found in the forests of Southeast Asia. Then we should get Farah to help us. She's familiar with the forest there. Great idea, Leo. Let's call her on the way there. All right. <laughs> Do you smell that? Popcorn! Popcorn. It's coming from over there. <gasps> a binturong! <laughs> Good job, hero. I'll send Kai our location. Huh? Hero, play nice. That's strange. My handbook says binturongs live high up in the trees and are really good climbers. Oh, no. Are you okay, binturong? <sighs> It's not a very good climber. Is your handbook incorrect, Farah? <gasps> My handbook is never wrong. I think Popcorn just hasn't learned how to climb a tree. Popcorn? popcorn? Popcorn is a nice name for it. He smells like popcorn. Popcorn the Binturong. I love it. While we wait for Kai to get here, we should teach Popcorn how to climb. Here, Popcorn. Just grip the branch really tightly, then pull yourself up. Easy. That's it. You're nearly there. Good job, Popcorn. Let's try another one. Huh? Popcorn, you're never going to learn if you stop at the first branch. I think Popcorn needs a little motivation to climb higher. That's right, Popcorn. I have your favorite fig right here. Come get it. You're doing great, Popcorn. You can do this. <laughs> we believe in you. Aw, let's take a little break. Here, Popcorn, you deserve this. <gasps> gotcha. Ranger Rocky. Phew. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. You're welcome, Leo. Are you guys teaching the Binturong to climb? Yep. Popcorn here doesn't climb very well, Ranger Rocky. Well, the secret is in Popcorn's tail. The Binturong has a prehensile tail. That means that it can use its tail to grab objects. Their tail acts like a fifth limb that holds onto branches and trunks, allowing the Binturong to climb more easily. This makes it one of their more important climbing tools. There is also a leathery patch at the tip of its tail that helps them grip branches more securely. We'll make sure Popcorn practices more. Great. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh, dear. Be careful, Popcorn. Hmm. 
I don't think its tail is strong enough. Then let's fix that. I know how we can make popcorn stronger. Lift. Just a bit more. That's it. Come on, higher. You got this. Think of all the trees you can climb after this. That's the way, Popcorn. You're doing great. You're nearly at the top. Just a bit more. All right, you made it, Popcorn. Awesome. Yay! I told you Binturongs could climb. My handbook is never wrong. Oops. Sure, Farah. Hi, guys. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi. Thanks for finding the Binturong. I can't wait to collect its smell. Hi, Popcorn. Don't mind me. I'm just here to collect your smell. Got it. Thanks, Popcorn. Oh, it's time for movie night. Let's go. Bye, Popcorn. Yay! Movie night! Bye, Popcorn! Bye, popcorn. <gasps> Wait for me! Mission accomplished! See you on the other side, Zumi! It is on! Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm. That is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. Whoa! Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look, it's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year. And it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. 
I know how we can hurt them. All right, hang tight, Rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here. Enjoy. Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate. Hang on, everyone. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be OK. Excuse me. Coming through. Got to get a baby hippo back to its mom. Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys. I got you. Oof. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. Stop. Don't fight. Break it up. It was just an accident. <laughs> What do we do now? Activate flight mode. The wings will keep us afloat. Got it. Platypus one, activate. Oh no! It's the mama hippo. Leave it to me, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon me. Go to Mama. Yay! Now let's get out of here. I love a happy ending. Mission accomplished. Here's my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um... <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. Locally, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Ugh. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The Plains Zebra. Plains Zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family, and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique. So we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Let's see what else we can find. Ouch! No! 
Not again! And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. The spy is worse. It bites. I got it. It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it. Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Ugh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky! How are we going to get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool. It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers. Jetpack jet activate. activate. <laughs> What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Rio, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it! Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one. We can't keep this up much longer. We need something to stop these zebras. Something to stop them? Way to go, Zumi. We did it. See, told you guys it'd be a snap. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.